Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your Apple Watch Series 10. Let's get started. All right, now the easiest way to set up your Apple Watch is to just bring your iPhone close to it just like that and it'll give you a screen that says Apple Watch where you can then tap continue. Now, for whatever reason you don't see that screen, all you have to do is open up your watch application and it should bring you to this screen as well. If not, you'll be brought to this screen and you can start pairing it and setting it up. So we're going to actually use both of these devices here to set up our Apple Watch. So we'll start here by tapping set it up for myself. And at this screen here, you're going to hold your camera over this and you just want it to align. Once it connects, you can tap set up Apple Watch. And you're going to choose a preference on your wrist. So for me, it's my left, but you can choose right as well. And it'll start to connect. Read through these terms of service and tap agree. Choose to share your watch analytics with Apple. If you do choose to share this, I strongly recommend you read that so you know what they're going to do with your information. Otherwise, select don't share and I never share my information. You can set up a passcode with your Apple Watch as well. So we'll tap create a passcode here. On the Apple Watch itself, you can choose a four digit passcode. We'll just use something simple here. Hopefully I don't forget it. You can choose to enable location services or disable them. Right now, I'm just going to disable them for this video. Choose how you want the text to look. So the bolding and the size, you can see how big or how small you can have the size. That seems about right for me. You can tap continue and everything we set up here, you can set up later in the settings as well. So now this part here, we're gonna to choose to use Siri. Select a voice. The colors of the sky fade with the setting sun. And then tap next. Now you can personalize your fitness and your health, entering in your date of birth, sex, height, weight. Just for this example, I'll just enter in that and tap done, but you wanna fill out all of this information so that it's there when you use it. From here, if you plan to use this for activity, you can set up your activity here, which is going to allow you to set up move goals, schedules, and things like that. We'll skip this for now. Your sleep schedule, if you'd like to use this watch while you sleep, I find it difficult to wear a watch to sleep. You can set up a schedule and you can choose to allow notifications or not. Go through the schedule, confirm it, I'm going to skip it myself because I don't use the Apple Watch while I sleep. These are notifications that are pretty important. For example, high heart rate, low heart rate, cardio fitness, and noise. I recommend you leave these all on. I find that this noise notification pops up quite a bit. And I don't even realize that the situations I'm in are that loud. So it's pretty good that it's there. Add in any medications you might be taking here in terms of beta blockers, calcium, channel blockers, and so on. From here now, you can read through the safety information. So emergency SOS, fall detection, crash detection, and backtrack. These are very important and can save your life in those situations. So it's important that you know how they work. Then tap continue. This is showing you double tap. Now I have a full tutorial on how to use the Apple Watch Series 10. So you can check that out on my channel showing you everything you need to know, including features like double tap that'll allow you to answer a call, reply to messages, and do things within your Apple Watch. This section here is all about depth. So the depth app can automatically open underwater to measure temperature, time, and depth up to six meters. So if you want it to automatically open when it's submerged, you can tap that or don't. I'm actually going to use that feature because I find that pretty cool. And now we're going to tap done on our iPhone. You can see it says hello on our Apple Watch. Enter in your passcode if you set one up and then tap start. And it's going to give you a quick guide on how to use the Apple Watch. So press the digital crown to see your apps. And it'll bring up your app library. And then pressing the digital crown to return. Pressing the side button to open up your control center. And then pressing the side button to close your control center. Turn the digital crown to see your widgets. And that's that. Welcome to your Apple Watch. So now you can start playing with your Apple Watch, but I recommend that you take a look at my channel 
for some tips, tricks, and tutorials that you can use to get the most out of your Apple Watch and learn how to use it to the best of its capabilities. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments, but that's how you set up your Apple Watch Series 10, 9, 8, 7, any Apple Watch pretty much is the same at this point. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell notification box to be notified when I post new videos, and I'll see you in the next one.